Because, Mr. Speaker, like it is attributed to Robert Mugabe, if we put two men in a room and give them 12 years, uh, 12 months, to produce as an offspring, they cannot produce an offspring. And so, Mr. Speaker, we will continue to stand here. But let me use this opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to celebrate Mr. Speaker, who has been a stalwart and a bastion for this bill. But for Mr. Speaker, this, this bill would most likely have been killed. Mr. Speaker has stood his ground and ensured that this bill has come this far. And I want to use this opportunity with the support of my colleague members of parliament, since we all support this bill, to serve notice to the Western powers that we have taken judicial notice of what they have done to the Speaker of Uganda. After Uganda, after Uganda passed the bill, after Uganda passed the bill, the sanctions on the Speaker of Uganda's parliament and on the sponsors of those bills, we will serve notice as well that if they replicate the same with our Speaker and members of parliament, we will also take action against their business interests in our country. Because they, they serve in this country and make money from here and take back home. They cannot hold us to ransom. And like has been asked on this floor, Mr. Speaker, why is it, why is it that the American Secretary of State has not sanctioned the Secretary of Defense? Because June was declared Pride Month and they had transgender parades. The U.S. Secretary of Defense blocked and stopped a transgender parade on a U.S. Air Force base because he said the U.S. Pentagon, which is their defense headquarters, would not support such activity. Governor DeSantis has passed legislation against open transgender parades in Florida. Why have they not taken on their own citizens? In fact, in 2022 alone, there were 433 actions in state house of legislatures across the United States banning and clamping down on homosexuality. The Supreme Court of the United States, SCOTUS, just last week, passed a landmark judgment enforcing the rights of American citizens to refuse to offer services to people on the basis of their faith and because they were LGBTQ. Mr. Speaker, it shows you that even America has realized the error of their judgment and are walking back their steps. Italy, 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 Italy in June designated June also as Family Protection Month to counter the, 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 L, the Pride Month. Maybe that's something Ghana should begin to consider, that we made June a Family Values Month to celebrate the Ghanaian family value. But Mr. Speaker, in wrapping up, in wrapping up, Mr. Speaker, I just want to state that the dangers, the dangers of homosexuality are great. Persons who are homosexuals or transgenders, per statistics from the CDC, have at least six times higher rates of obesity, substance abuse, and suicidal thoughts than heterosexual people. This has a consequence for our health bill as a country and, and public health, and we cannot turn a blind eye to this. I want to thank every member of this House who has supported this journey so far, especially the committee as well, in bringing us this far. Mr. Speaker, this bill will be passed to the glory of God. Mr. Speaker, this bill that they say the God we serve is a God of love. Yes, he's a God of love, but he's a God of justice. He gives forgiveness. He gives, he gives mercy to those who repent of their sins. He doesn't give mercy to those who stay in their sins. We are willing and ready to offer support to anyone who wants support. But Mr. Speaker, the Old Testament and the New Testament are replete with Bible scripture. I cannot end without quoting the Bible. Mr. Speaker, the Bible is clear. In Leviticus 18.22, it says, Do not practice homosexuality. Having sex with another man as with a woman, it is a detestable sin. And for those who say that we are living under the dispensation of grace, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6, 9 to 10, don't you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't fool yourself. Those who indulge in sexual sin or who worship idols or commit adultery or are male prostitutes or practice homosexuality or are thieves or greedy people or drunkards or abusive or cheap people, none of this will inherit the kingdom of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.